Hey, Design Forward, um, this is our final daily dispatch and daily dispatch video um, for the Intro to Pedagogy module. And I am joined today by, let's see if I can do this, Robin, <laughs> Hannah, and Cassidy. Um, I'm big, they're small. That's just the way it worked out. Um, and we're all going to just share a quick thought or takeaway about something that what happened this week in Design Forward or our overall thoughts about um, the module or I don't know, just something interesting that that struck us. And um, we hope that, you know, you guys have interesting things to reflect on too about this whole experience. I am gonna ask Hannah to kick us off. I um, just wanted to pull out a quote, um, something really brilliant that Tim said oh. on um, the questions about alignments or mismatches in, your own pedagogical approach and a critical caring and clustered approach. Um, he talks about a metaphor that he has for care um, in the classroom. And I've been really interested this week in care, even though I know we have a whole module about care, but um, that's where my brain has been. And he says, uh, um, here is an analogy comparing care to food. Food that has poor nutritional value is cheaper and easier to access but has some major long-term repercussions associated with it. Care takes a lot of time and is an investment in the short term, but it may lead to better outcomes long-term. To show care in the classroom takes a lot of energy and enthusiasm, which could lead to burnout in some faculty. In summary, there are a lot of drawbacks to care, time, efficiency, energy, but is likely an essential part of teaching, which I think is just so brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited to dig deeper into just thinking about care across all of these different um, considerations in our next module in April. I think there's gonna be some good conversation. Let's see, who's up next? Robin, you wanna go? I tried to raise my hand, but my hand <laughs> but <it> disappeared. <laughs> um, yes, I'm gonna um, share a quote from one of the choice readings that I did by Maxine Green, which was about um, finding light in a dark time in your teaching. Um, it's an older piece, but it certainly resonated for me a lot now. And right at the end, she writes, the light may be uncertain and flickering, but teachers in their lives and works have the remarkable capacity to make it shine in all sorts of corners and perhaps to move newcomers to join with others and transform. And I just really liked the way she talked about the power of small moments of illumination, um, because I do feel like every day I see lots of flickers of hope, not so much in my work with students, which is like just constantly, I think, very joyous, but in the systems related to teaching, um, there's a lot of darkness. Um, and once in a while you see these little flickers of good people working together to do good things. And um, I think she really talked about how sometimes that can be transformative enough. And I thought that was inspiring. Yeah, definitely. Her words are always inspiring. Uh, Cassidy, what about you? Thoughts? Um, so as a student being able to kind of see like, behind the scenes a little um, has been really, really interesting and really fun. Um, for me personally, it's been, oh, I need to think of a good way to put this. It's been really, um, I don't wanna say enlightening, but it's kind of brought you know me personally a sense of hope um, cause I think as a lot of students, so, or a lot of students feel this way, but like early on in education, there's not a whole lot of thought into like why people teach and what are we really doing here? It's like, here's a curriculum. We're going to force it down your throat. You take what we tell you to take. And that's it. So seeing people challenge that, um, that idea and really think about why they're teaching and the pat, you know, cause I think teaching is really a passion based thing. Um, and especially with so much um, going on in our country right now against, you know, teachers, um, it's really important to kind of hone in on that and bring it forward. So that's just been really great to see. I love that. And I'm gonna actually change what I was gonna talk about because I want to just like respond to what you just said. And thank you so much for saying it because 
it reminded me of kind of a lesson that I've learned over the years, which is that um, our students have so much to say to us about education, but nobody ever asks them. <laughs> And um, for me as an educator, when I started talking to my students about like their experience as students, what they've taken away from it, not just like, what did you learn, but what did you learn about what it means to be a student? Um, that's really when I started to decide I needed to think differently about teaching because so many of the stories were, I mean, sad isn't the right word, but yeah, kind of sad, right? And and it particularly sad because I know personally, like from knowing so many educators, I know that most educators are, their heart is in this work, right? They, are, they've, they, were, they were drawn to this work, they had a calling to this work. And so to try and figure out what has intervened between that calling and that hope, and then that uh, an individual student's experience to create this disconnect, I think that is a really important job for us to figure out what's going on there. And I think one of the first steps is that we stop thinking of ourselves as teachers and students mm -hmm. and more as a community of learners working together. And by, by kind of taking down those walls and asking students to share and reflect, I think that's a really important practice. So Absolutely. thank you for sharing that because I think that's a really great reminder. Thank you. And before you end, Martha, yeah. I just want to say a note to everybody that um, with a title like Design Forward, you know that we're not really fully ending. Um, so I will just tell folks that uh, Hannah and Martha and I will be returning to the course um, through Monday in case you want to take this final weekend to finish up some last work. But of course, it's not really ever going to close. So feel free to keep um, referencing the materials. And we will be checking in with you after the module um, officially ends just for feedback and all that kind of stuff. But we're so grateful that you spent this time with us. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I'm going to end with some special effects. Is everybody ready? We're ready. We uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs>